We're here on Red Rep. We've got Jerome Pescur, who's got a tough opponent tomorrow. Hey, how's it going? Good, good. That's good. How's your uh, training going for this uh, camp? Uh, yeah, yeah, pretty sweet. Um, I don't know, it kind of feels like every day because I train all the time anyway. So, <laughs> yeah. so do you actually uh, train like almost every day even if you've got no fight like, Yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, I did a diploma in sports and fitness education, so it's just kind of something I'm... Just the human bodies are something I'm obsessed with, so... Yeah. Yeah. So kind of like bands of nature anyway. Yeah, yeah. So how much do you know about uh, Andre? Uh, I know that he has quite a successful amateur background. Um, He's a heavy hitter. Um, I have sparred with him before. Uh, apart from that, yeah, that's all I know so far. So you just came off like a massive uh, tournament with the Super uh, Super Eight, was it? The yeah. Dead Auckland Eight. Yeah, yeah Auckland Eight. It was a great performance by you. Uh, I didn't win it though. <laughs> Yeah, but you came up against someone that was actually like in the top 50 in the world, and you actually held your own against them as well. So it's a massive accomplishment. How do you how did you feel after um, coming off from that? Um, I mean, I, of course, I'm a little bit bummed out because I didn't get that 5k. But um, no, um, when I actually recently found out that he's number 49 in the world, which I had no clue about, so it kind of makes me feel a little bit better about losing to Ted. Just, but uh, yeah. So if you get through Andre, do you think that you'll go after the New Zealand title at all? Uh, I'd like to, I guess so. <laughs> I don't know who currently holds it though. But, uh, uh, no, no one holds it. Oh! Um, yeah, yeah. Why not? I mean, like, I'm, I'm always training anyway, and I've kind of fallen in love with boxing, so yeah. Well, good luck for tomorrow, and I hope you uh, do your best. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.